Hey guys, hope you're all well. Uh, I guess a lot of you in the UK are cooking right now. I know I am. So if you can hear sort of a whirring noise, I've had to sort of throw the towel in and put that aircon unit on. I don't like to run it too often because it sort of costs about the same to light Las Vegas up. So yeah we get the bills electric bills it doesn't go down very well so well, i've had to throw the towel in today it's been getting i've got a temperature gauge up there without that running it's been getting to like 40 in here which what's that just over 100 just unbearable i'm, I'm fat and got ginger bits i don't do heat and sun you hold a photo of the sun near me i'll get sunburn it's it's been truly horrific i know we all like the good weather but uh, typical uk it's either cold and raining or red hot so we just don't get chance to sort of climatize to it but anyway enough about that back on dan's bike so ian's finally uh done the parts he he, he did have to modify a bit on the primary cover so he's changed all that it's come out fantastic we'll have a look at all that as we go through today's work uh what else have i got to do as you can see i don't know if you can see i've took all the rear mud guard back off because that was only all sort of loosely assembled in place to keep it safe so it wasn't knocking around the shed and give me a chance of damaging it so it's all back off now i've had to do that to get the chain guard on. the chain guards just sort of slipped into place so i'm going to bolt that up in a second start putting all the bits back on that'll be sort of the rear end done and we'll get the primary cover on you can see i've got all rag stuffed in here because over the last few days because i haven't been doing any grinding and stuff in here i've started to soak the clutch in oil so that's what them rags are there for i haven't i don't soak the clutches in oil because the environment in here it will just pick up every bit of grinding dust and everything it'll stick to it and that's not good so a few days before the primary cover goes on i start dousing it on oil as long as i'm not grinding anything in here so that's all nice and clean and safe anyway i'm going to see how i can battle on i'll keep the air con blown so you have to bear with me with that noise if you can hear it and see how far we get through today if it gets too much quite a lot of the work on this now is quiet i'll just come back in the evening when it's cooled down slightly and continue with it anyway let's get on with bolting things on all right that's the bottom one on i'm just going to leave everything loose until i make sure everything is in line as I said before, things can change slightly with the powder coating thicknesses. Right. This goes onto the back of the gearbox. So we'll spin that one on. Okay, that's looking quite good. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Remember to ignore the green. <laughs> Everybody who's come in and seen the bike in the flesh has got a lot. Yeah, wow. That green's definitely different. Right, yeah. Ian's done such a beautiful job. So pleased with that. Right, my God. Careful, careful. Easy does it. I'll put it there and basically send it round with the wheel so it's located. Making sure I'm not going to scrape against anything. Is that gone in? 
think so. Yeah. At least it's not going to go anywhere. Right, let's get the, the brass strut. careful certainly don't want to scratch anything now do we everything's lining up a treat yes all right let's get a little bolt in there Right, I've got all the fixings in the mug guard. I'm just doing the little fittings for the bicycle pump now. I had one of them stupid moments earlier where I was, uh, I'll show you. I was wondering why, why have I done that big cutout like that? It's far too big. And I remembered the bicycle pump. <laughs> stupid. about right <laughs> come on get in there we go excellent we'll drop some uh, rubber o-rings over them like uh, I've done on the fire extinguisher it can't slide out because uh, the ends are bigger Spot on. There we go. Right, next bit, side mount number plate. I'll do all them up properly at a later date when I'm going around absolutely everything on the bike just in case things are going to come back off for any reason alright find the nut for the top one now right next job is the breather uh, this needs a little o-ring putting on it so I'm going to get that out but then I'm going to slot the very end so I can put something in there and just just nip it up a tiny bit and then we'll put the copper tube on and put a little hidden screw underneath the copper tube to hold it in place oh. <clears throat> it's cooking it, I, I had to go down the house and have a break it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I'm slowly plodding on. I've uh, had a break and a cold shower, but the aircon that some of you may see and sitting on the corner of the shed there is now decided to pack up. I only use it as a last resort because it's bonkers expensive to run. So I'll literally try and hang out before I click that button on. But I can't complain really, I've, I've had that, 
it's got to be about seven years i bought it off ebay for 50 quid it came out of someone's conservatory so it's got that and it's got some great big unit out the back of the shed there uh i guess i guess the gas is gone and i'm not sure if i'm right i don't think you can do the gas on your own anymore can you same with the cars you used to be able to buy the canisters and top on it yourself i'm pretty sure you can't do that anymore so it looks like that's out of action for a while <laughs> anyway it's a tiny bit cooler it, i think it's going towards eight o'clock at night so i'm going to try and get the primary cover on and i think oh i'm going to get the primary cover on and i'm going to get the dummy oil tank back on i think i'm going to call it a night i've even put me sandal things on and some shorts i got me skinny legs out my legs look like they should be hanging out a nest <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep them off camera, I won't scare you. Anyway, let's get the uh, primary cover on before I fry. <laughs> oh, let's get all this out of the way. I think it's soaked up the remnants of the oil that I've been pouring around the clutch over the last few days. Hopefully this one will fit. I've had these that don't fit and you I've actually, at some cases, I've had to cut them at the top from to fit. Well, hopefully, this one will go in. Hopefully. It fits. Yeah, I've, had, I've only had a couple of them that have been too long for some reason. But that one is bang on. I've just, uh, this bit of uh, breviary, I've, I haven't done that up yet because I've obviously still got to get in there. So it's got to just slide back and come off. For me to do the timing side of things, then I'll do the fittings properly. There we go. Right, let me find all the bits I need to get the cover on. Right, I've had to pull this stud out a bit. Still got plenty of threads in there though, so we are fine. Let's try again. Yes, check that out. Oh, I'm pleased with that. I'll give it all a polish over, obviously, when I'm done. Right, let's find the drain plug and the filler plug. <sighs> right. I've just had the filler plug and lost it. I've just been called out again. This is my typical week. <laughs> Tracy's sister's car wouldn't start a flat battery. So I've had to go out to that and alternate oh, about snapped. So that's something else I'm going to have to sort out. So yeah, every time I get tucked into a job, <laughs> something else goes on. I have to go and help people. This is a typical week for me. Never mind. So before I toodled off, I put the plug somewhere and I've been out for about half hour, three quarters an hour and I can't remember where I've put the plug. It's getting late now. I just want to finish the little bits I wanted to do and sit down and put my feet up. Hello, Blue. Here's Bluey. Hello, mate. It's been too hot for you today, isn't it? Hey. Eh? Right, I've given up on searching for the plug. I've put it somewhere stupid. That's what happens when you get disturbed. Constantly. <laughs> I'm going to pop the oil tank on, 
just to see what it all looks like. At least we're getting there with most of it, eh? Right, it's getting there. You probably can't see very well, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ian redone this. It was a bit bright, so he'd done it. He'd done the AD in black. It does stand out well, actually. Probably not on camera, but it does it sort of matches the frame, the black frame that is painted around the cards. It does look good. I'm very pleased with it. So I'll be on a mission to see what stupid place I've put the filler cap in. Then we'll find the drain plug, the level plug, and get the rest of it done off. So I've left the clamp off that for now because it's all got to just slide back and pop out to do all the timing side of things. All this is on now. The extension there. The little oil pump. The bicycle pump. side mount number plate you'll probably see my sticky fingerprints everywhere at the minute but it'll obviously all have a, a final polish when i'm done i've got the number plate to order that normally comes in a couple of days so i'll get that ordered gotta get the rubber grommets in all the frame holes swap all this for the cloth braided um wires that i've got so they can be left on show so i think it'll look nice with the old-fashioned cloth braided but it's taking shape. So yeah, it's coming along nicely now. Really are getting to the, uh, the last few jobs. I'm very pleased with it. I've got to get a, a split pin in there, but I haven't tightened everything up yet. So next job, so I've got to do things like get the brake arm on, get this side footrest on, connect all that, get all the wiring done to the back end, and so on. Just gradually go over all the little small jobs now. Hello, mate. So there we go. I think... Uh, That'll do for this one. What I might do is actually go and grab a couple of hours rest and come back in here and do a few things through the night when it's a lot cooler, because it, it really has been unbearable in here. And I just don't do the heat too well. Ends up splitting headache and feeling sick. So, <laughs> and it's been warm. Shouldn't complain, because we all like the summer to be here, but so shouldn't complain. <laughs> But it's been truly horrific in this shed, especially now that aircon's gone packed up. But never mind. So yeah, I think I'll uh, go and grab a few hours rest and come back in through the night when it's a lot cooler and continue with some of the smaller bits. And then we'll be on the wiring and get that sorted. Got all the bits to put on the handlebars and throw all the levers and things like that and just basically get yeah get it all ready for wiring and then we ain't going to be far off from starting it up which i'm looking forward to and not looking forward to I always it's one of them moments where you're thinking just everything go right please <laughs> it's always enjoyable but all also <laughs> completely the opposite so hopefully everything will be okay anyway that'll do me for today Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.